It's red left switch, C right, sprint right G, U corner, half back flat. Nice and That's easy, awesome. let's walk it, here we go. Yes, welcome in Alex Boone, the let's Rhino, go. 10 plus years in the National Football League trenches. Phil Mackey, two years in the middle school trenches, and combined, we will sit here and tell you what happens in NFL football games. Jeremiah Searles, our uh, third partner in crime, is on his annual uh, go out to the Bahoonies of America with his family, with his dad, and hunt elk trip. So we got this covered this week here. We're going to pull back the curtain on Jaden Daniels' breakout game as a rookie week three against the Cincinnati Bengals Bahoonie. Let's go. I mean, just... I don't know what I'm more excited for, watching this film or watching what's coming down the road. But what I love about this is this is a rookie. And so rarely do you see rookies come in this league and just dominate. Like, And this performance against a team that knew their backs were against the wall, like that's what I'm having a hard time about with these Bengals, dude. Like Everybody else was like, hey, we're in an 0 and 2 rut. We need to get ourselves at the Giants. The Giants were like, there's yeah. no way we're starting 0 and 3. Right, like everybody just knows it's a kiss of death, and now you look at this team and they kind of got knocked out by a rookie, and it's like, oh no, what happened to the Bengals? And but when you look at these plays that Jaden Daniels makes, just incredible throws. But the excitement that he has when he plays, and it seems like this team's starting to rally around him. And let's be honest, this team needed something to rally around, right? Like they were going through it. So to get a player like this, and not only that, but I'm not saying he rushed the ball like crazy, but to be able to run the ball effectively and yeah. still have the defense fear you but still be able to throw the ball like it just puts so many more options into your wheelhouse and that's what's exciting about this dude so i usually i put these reels together for you guys and oh, then yeah. so i i, I run them and, then, and you guys but what i usually do is chronologically like i go through the game and we kind of go from you know like the plays are generally in order of this like the first play happened early right i'm gonna call an audible here dude i'm gonna do call it. a check i think we should start we should start with the dagger at the end here. All right. Dagger. I'm going to roll this. And there's so many things on this play. So it's I'll roll so this. Fun. And then you take us back uh, at half speed and here tell us go, what baby. happened. We got a three by one. Now, listen, go back real quick. This is a fun little three by one because this is like, hey, what are you going to do? Are you going to play us man over here? Or are you going to put a safety over the top with Terry McLaurin? Now, do you see a safety? Not over the top. No. I do not. If I'm Jaden and this this connection wasn't really there the first two weeks, but now all of a sudden it's starting to build up. If I'm him, like right away, I'm like, fade around. It's coming. Like I'm giving him the wink, right? Like it's coming right now. Here's the problem. He sees it. And he's like, shit, I'm going to have to throw a 50-50 ball because I'm about to get <laughs> tattooed. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, go back. Oh, Let's talk about God, this. Dude. Talk about, hey. You, you got, want the end zone like, cam here? Yeah, he threw a beautiful ball, dude. Like, this this, this could not have been placed any better. Terry McLaurin coming through in a big, big way. All right, pause it. <laughs> dude, real Are quick, we somebody, I saw one of my favorite memes on the internet during this game. Somebody posted a photo of, like, it was like, it was like Terry McLaurin uh, as, like, some sort of biblical figure. It's like the first time in six years that a quarterback hits Terry McLaurin in the hands, in stride in Washington. <laughs> <laughs> been a long time. Been a long time since Washington's been where they are right now, and I think that's probably why they're so excited, which is fun. So right here, we're kind of where they're faking an all-out blitz. So they're obviously they're bringing everybody up, but you can tell that twenty four is clearly in man coverage, right? Like he is manned over this tight end all the way because there's nobody behind him. So at first, I'm thinking, yeah, it's man, right? Because we go in motion, twenty ones fucking around with us. Instantly, I'm like, we are man coverage all the way. But what happens is these guys start to rush, but then they kind of drop out here. See 55 pull out right yes. there, okay. which is a great job because what it does is it allows them to slide the slide it to the left. 55, and I, that's uh, Logan Wilson, who I'm a huge fan of. Um, if he comes, we're good. But what they did was they tricked you. They pretended to come, and then see how 55 pulls out at the last second. Yeah. Now the tackle's kind of like, oh, God, where am I going? Where's he going? But what it does is it allows a free rusher at the running, at the quarterback. And that's what we don't want. 
right? So this is part of the whole, are they coming? Are they not guessing game that we always play with them? Now they technically are coming. What's weird about this. And I guess it's not weird is it's kind of a max protect because the tight ends in over here and you still have the running back in over here, but we still have one unaccounted for over here to the right. It's actually a great, it's a great blitz, right? I mean, it, it gets home. Well, here's the question. If the, if you score on a blitz, is it really that good of a blitz? It's a fair point, but if I but if I could tell you, hey, uh, on this key play, a free runner is going to destroy Jaden Daniels right as he throws. Will you take your like? Is it going to be a completion? Will you take your chances? Oh yeah, of course you're going to take your chances. Well, number one, it's a hit on the quarterback, but two, what it is is it's a it's a big mental game for us. Like we think we're going to go four for four over here, but all of a sudden this guy bails out, and it looks bad. It looks way worse than it is. They made the right decision. Like, listen, right. to the letter of the law, we're going to go 5-5. Five, five, five. We're going to give 57 to the back. And quarterback, you have the outside. But that's the fun of this, is if they do bring this, then they are only going one-on-one in the back end. So it's like, hey, Jaden, if you can make a throw and you can put it only where we can get it, the plays like this will encourage them to stop blitzing. Right? Like, this is where all of a sudden the team looks back and is like, maybe we should have just sent everybody. Shit. <laughs> we let a yeah. tricky quarterback get filleted on the 45 yard line, but through the most perfect ball at the same time. So this is his third game. And there's a lot of the, the, the first, and even including Jaden Daniels first couple of games, like the rookies are swimming in it early in the season here, trying to figure out these defenses and the speed, man, how many quarterbacks stand in? This is, this is coming right in your face, man. Like nowadays you, you see this dude, lot. And throw that perfect of a pass. I mean, you know that you're about to get absolutely lambasted here. Oh, dude, there's no stopping. This is I a mean, great. I, I mean, if you're a Washington fan, seeing this, it's, no, no, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like at some point, I keep looking at this because I'm like, they're in Mustang protection, which is two backs. They're technically they should have remiked it, but if you remike it to 57 and slide to 57 and put the tackle on 55, then you have 24 as a free rusher. Would I want that? Probably yes, because he's going to have to rush way outside of everything. But in the heat of the moment, sometimes it's really hard to get up there and be like, "Oh, this is what they're doing." You know what I'm saying? Like you look up and you see eight up, you're like, "Shit!" <laughs> Doesn't matter which way we're going, somebody's going to be free somewhere, right? Also, yeah. is there is this maybe this is incorrect, but when you have a quarterback, he's maybe the he's one of the three most mobile quarterbacks in the NFL. I mean, it's like Lamar Jackson, mm-hmm. Josh Allen, uh, well, Malik Willis is in the mix now. But if he needed to, he probably could have just if you see the pressure coming, he could escape out this way. Sometimes right? the the easiest pressure to get away from is outside pressure because it forces you to pick a side and just go. The worst is up the middle pressure. And you know what's even crazier about all this? And and this is what happens when you let me watch a play too many times. It's almost like they almost forgot to block the fucking safety. (laughs) These guys are like, whoa, 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 whoa. where where are you going, bud? We've also run this play about 100 times and haven't given any acknowledgement to this incredible pickup here by the running back too. Does he get like an honorary seat in the O-line room after this? Absolutely not. One play will get not get you an honorary seat, especially when you put your head down and try and tackle a guy. <laughs> like, dude, look, that's look, just look, gonna... look at this guy. Oh god, no. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the let's go back to the beginning here. Let's watch some of these plays early in the game. I'm just gonna run these full speed. No, seriously, dude. Great game. Prime time. Can't tell you the pressure that you feel on prime time in somebody else's stadium. And the simple throws. I mean, he's a little play at play. At, it, it feels like an RPO. play calling with a purpose here, right? Yeah. It's like everything's building off of. Absolutely. I, previous. I used to love these pistol runs because they're kind of a conundrum to the defense. Because if you look, he, he's kind of going backside. He takes his hand off backside and everyone's running the opposite way. So the defense is always kind of like, well, wait, what's going on? But if you do give it, you can run this ball front side right now because the linebackers are stuck in mud right there. See how they jump up? And everybody else has gained momentum on them. Now, I think this is kind of a design run or a design pass all the way, but it would have been a hell of a run if he'd have ran it. <laughs> Dude, there's a crease right there where Terry McLaurin is that could have been special. But at the same time, what are we doing? We're forcing the defense to cover so many different people in so many different ways. Like, are we going to run it? Are we going to throw it? Is the quarterback going to run it? Like, the more you break down these RPOs, it really puts the defense on a massive bind. And what else does it do? It slows down your pass rushers. 
Why? Because they don't know what the hell's going on. And at times, I'm just holding this ball out here, but the tight end's running down the seam route, or we're running in the flat. You know what I'm saying? And nobody sees these guys, which is so fun for the offensive line. But at the same time, it takes a lot of pressure off the quarterback. Like, look at the defense right now. They don't know what the hell's going on. So this got, is the this is the receiver here. You got right? this dude leaning. You got these linebackers caught in quicksand, and then obviously uh, the safety right twenty four is caught up with the tight end here. So, it's, But he's almost screwed, too, because, look, he's flat-footed as hell, and the tight end's running a seam route. It's the same right. thing. Like, everybody always kind of gets stuck in this quick moment of who has the ball. And then all of a sudden, look, you got a corner route over here. You got Terry McLaurin wide open. If you didn't have Sam Hubbard chasing him down, you got a lot of dudes running. And it's just – it makes it easy because it kind of puts them into a panic situation. It's super fun, super fun. So this is – I think the same formation as we saw on the dagger at the end of the game here. Three by one, baby. Keep it simple. And a three by one defense is very easy to see who your mic is. It's because everything's pushed over as opposed to your two by two defense, which becomes a little bit trickier at times to figure things out because everything's kind of even, but they're not even. See, we're sliding to the left now, which would be smart because the mic is five five. Safety's down. Safety 24 over here on the right. And then this is a great pocket, at least Dude, watching the, the wide angle. I'll tell you what, man. Getting after these dudes right here. Look at that. I love that right tackle. All on an island by himself. Gets in front. Gets his hands on. I like a little more extension. But like you said, dude, this is as clean as it's going to get, right? Like you're playing the Bengals in their house. They're getting after it. They are super psyched. And you just sitting there throwing dimes, dude. The By separation. Way, you recognize this guy right here? These bloodlines right here. Is that, that a, is a McCaffrey right there? I my knew friend. it. That's Luke McCaffrey, dude. They're, they're just invading the NFL right now. Just, I think he's like their second most targeted receiver. We can check on that. Oh, I'm pretty sure he is. Look Third at game in the NFL. <laughs> throwing. <laughs> That poor Football's safety. easy. Football's <laughs> easy. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, that poor safety literally just got stuck on that dig and the ball ran right by him. He's like, oh, shit. Is that the ball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. He's coming back on oh. the dig. Yeah. That could have made a play. Am I? Am I? Like right here, you'd have been like, oh, for sure that guy tackles him, right? <laughs> no. No. no not not going to work here. <laughs> he thought gets himself that. Gets himself blocked. I love this dude's already celebrating right here. Oh, God, that, no, dude, nah, McCaffrey nothing, doesn't quite have breakaway speed. so you know. Nothing more embarrassing than celebrating, and it gets down to like the two. And you're like, shit, that's on tape. Because <laughs> everyone's always throwing the laser at it. Like, where did you think we were going, bud? Shut up, guys. <laughs> here we go. Hey, we're in the same kind of formation, right? A little three by one makes it this easy. This is the to, one right here. I guess. Exactly. And same okay. thing. It makes it easy to declare. See how the mic is all the way over the left tackle? Like it's easy for us to know who everybody is because everybody gets pushed way over. I know it doesn't make sense, but when you've looked at a million defenses and the balance, you could be like, well, that guy could be the mic. That guy could be the mic. The minute you move another receiver over there, the whole defense flips over and they're like, oh, there's the mic. What an idiot. All right, we had some carnage here on the on the left side. I don't know. Let's go. You tell me what happens here. Two eye moving is driving me nuts. I'm not gonna lie, that would have pissed me off. Ooh, ooh, hello, Hendrickson just getting <laughs> full he's got <laughs> dumped, dude. Oh man, that's uh, he got hit from both angles. We're, we got a guy on top of him, but then what but a he, shitty he, he gets right back up though. Oh yeah, no, he's he, he's got a motor on him, dude. He is like JJ Watt Jr. He he is not gonna stop. But that's why I would have just continued to lay on him. What these guys over here? Just are hand, just hand fighting the shit out of this. I love it. Guard does a great job. This is a good, another hey, another great pocket, right? Like if you're not going to put pressure on a rookie quarterback, you got to get to him with four. Because if you don't, he's just throwing strikes, dude. Yeah, he's picking a par, man. All right, now we're <clears throat> excuse me. Now Same we're thing. into the deep red here. Three by four, one, four or five yard line. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, when you when you when you have to watch a million things and you have to be ready for everything, sometimes the simplest things just beat you because you just 
<laughs> Look at 58. 58 the, the, doesn't hit the, the camera guy. He doesn't even realize the quarterback has the ball until he scored. Go back. Defensive end has no idea. And once again, it's from seeing this all day, right? Like you, you've watched this quarterback and this running back mesh together for the whole afternoon. And then all of a sudden you're like, I got this. I got this. I got, I don't got this. I don't. Oh God. Like, dude, he just, he's seriously like, oh shit. But the problem <laughs> is go back. They don't have any force player over the top because we used to run this play all the time. And the biggest thing was if they get one linebacker over the top on this, the play is dead. So if you can get 24 to come back over the top, the play is dead because you're reading 58 and we're not hiding it here. You have no hider, so you have no why. Normally, the why will come back and block somebody. But the problem is Bell gets sucked so far up in here on this B. Because, I mean, dude, look at the quarterback-running back relationship. What do you think he's doing? That looked – well, the, I mean, dude, the camera guy. I know. The all-22 end zone guy. Is that a well, guy or is it – It's is a guy. It, is it technology it's a guy because now? technically he's probably doing it because not one person realizes that the ball's been pulled. Not one. Look at this. On this play right now, everyone's about to tackle this running back. Jaden's like these guys. These guys are yeah. And these these defensive guys are even dumber in the NFL. No way. That's not (laughs) possible. I know they are, dude. They are. I thought I thought Vanderbilt was the dumbest team in football. Boy, you got to be kidding me. It's the Bengals. I played at University of Louisiana Lafayette. They were better than this. (laughs) Yeah, and that's the the fact that you can sit here with this RPO game that you're very familiar with from your Kaepernick San Francisco. Greg Roman offenses, but then also these deep passes we're seeing early in his career and, and see, on that's, the college film, man. It's, and that's the fun stuff, right? Like normally when you go to the NFL and we're kind of seeing it with Caleb Williams and a little bit of Bo Nix early in the season is like, you think you're going to do a lot, but you're not. But this right here is the example of doing a lot. This play right here, dude, 56 yards strike, just release. Catch That's the best release. ball anyone's ever thrown to Terry McLaurin. Dude, I'm telling you, he's got to be so excited right now. He has to be like, oh my God, I'm about to be an all-pro player again. Like, this is what I've wanted. Once again, the pro is great. We're chipping on both edges. Why? Because they've been known to have really good defensive ends. So let's chip them a little bit. And this is how you utilize your chip. And now, honestly, both these guys should have known they were getting chipped too. You can tell Hendrickson knows. He's like, hey, I'm coming out here. I'm going to hit you first. But see what it does. It allows this tackle to get set. So he doesn't have to worry about this massive speed rush up the sideline. Dude, coaches can put in simple things like this. And the only person on this screen right now that's in a challenge is the right guard. But he's fighting a dude that just wants to bull rush him and fist fight him anyway. So he's like, <laughs> you're in my wheelhouse, homie. Like, this is a bad idea. If you wanted to get me, you should have beat me with speed, right? Like, look at that dude. He's like, no, you're not going to fight me today. Awesome. Awesome play design, right? Keep the offensive line comfortable up front. Keep the quarterback comfortable. They don't want to blitz. Okay, fine. Don't blitz. Stupid idea. Look at that. I mean, look, look at, at this pocket, that. dude. It's beautiful. There's so wow. many coaches right now that I could be like, hey, stupid. Take note. This is how we throw strikes. Dude, by the way, he was double covered on this, and he still did that. Dude, I don't know what's going on lately with between – Jet running past people, Terry McLaurin Mm. running past people. Like, defenses better pull their heads out of their asses. And I think a lot of that comes from not respecting people. Tell me this is my play. This is I got one more for you. I got got to bring this one for you. Hey, for anybody that wants to know why we're breaking this film down, I think this is the first one of the year to an O-lineman. Is it? I'm almost positive it is. we had one more. I haven't seen anything. And I certainly haven't seen a dance this cool, dude. Have you seen anybody do something as cool? By the way, the acting on this was just... This defense should seriously be a little bit ashamed of themselves. Not one person noticed that 340-pound dude. Look at it. And then the dance. I want to dance with somebody. (laughs) I want to feel the heat with somebody. So what are they doing? There? Is, so they've they've got one extra this, offensive lineman on the field reporting eligible, right? Before That's we what, go into this, when you practice this during the week, the rule is always the same. You must always throw it to the O lineman, no matter what. Like because you want to get the guy ready, right? Right. I can't tell you how exciting. Like in my stance right now, I used to be like laughing hysterically because I'd be like, "We're going to throw it to a fat guy." 
This is great. <laughs> and the defense has no idea. And this is exactly what you want this guy to do. You want him to push this defensive end in, but you have to slide behind this outside linebacker, 49. Because technically, this guy has you in man coverage, right? Now, what's he thinking? There ain't no way they're going to throw it to this Buffalo. Not a chance. So right? 49 knows that he's eligible of course, but that could, but that could just mean, hey, this is you know, this is the formation that correct. And what what am I thinking down in the goal? They're line? also they're also bringing they're bringing this dude and a pulling guard over, so they're you know they're trying to they're set faking up a the run whole play. power yeah. right. So who is the last person to really notice something on power? The backside because sim- you have a simple jab and pick back there, right? But what he does is he ends up kind of pushing him in and squeezing between the two of them where he gets lost. And right now, this is about the moment where he's like, bro, this PP check is about to be so sweet. Dude, scored a touchdown on Monday night football. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this guy. This guy's had a day. This guy's getting cut for sure. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, not going not gonna to work here. <laughs> <laughs> Look how excited he is. I he's high-stepping, dude. He's how, high-stepping. How could you not, dude? I mean, I didn't ever want to do that, but if I – I'd have been I'd have been going through the roof too, man. Exciting things in Washington. And that's what it is, right? Like Washington has been in the shit for a little bit. And to see them all of a sudden now, like, wow, they got a really good quarterback. Oh, him and Terry McLaurin are rolling off the ball. Like things like that make it really fun to watch. But at the same time, can you sustain that for weeks? Like that's yeah. the one thing we gotta see. And you gotta dude, if you can pass mock like that all year, ain't nobody gonna stop you. I mean, I feel like there's a whole other conversation to be had about that division is gettable. Oh, Philadelphia, you know, no points going into the fourth. Philadelphia just feels like a chaotic mess. Dallas's defense, we t- we talked about, and we'll do it. We're going to do a breakdown of that too. The uh, Giants, how the Giants got to win, but like, who's to say that the two and one, the Commanders have some juice? Dan Quinn has coached a team to the Super Bowl before. Yeah, you know, I don't want to get too far ahead, but it's not the Commanders look good. The Commanders are not to be dismissed in that division, which is absolutely, bad. dude, and. Honestly, I don't know if this means the good things for the commanders or if it just means that bad of things for the Bengals, but it was a very interesting outcome for that game. Like it was a back and forth shootout and to see Washington come out above, like you were like I, I forget where I was. Was it, were we were we doing a podcast and you Oh, were we like, were doing pur- we were doing Purple Daily. Yeah, yeah. and you were like Trenches. they're they're going to come back and win and I was like, "Duh." And then all of a sudden they didn't. I was like, what the yeah. fuck is going on? Are they well in part three? because, dude, that dagger touchdown pass? I didn't. I didn't know that Jaden Daniels was going to be throwing a forty-five yard dot to Terry McLaurin to getting hit I square in the face. Love it. me for doubting. So uh, <laughs> he's the Rhino, Alex Boone, Phil Mackey for our guy Jeremiah Searles. If you enjoy these film breakdowns from an offensive line perspective, click that subscribe button and the like button on this YouTube video, and we'll see you for the next one.